Hello and welcome to this 10-minute shoulder pain relief yoga sequence. My name is Joelle and you can do the first part of this sequence sitting on the floor as I am, or in a chair if you feel more comfortable. Let's start by shrugging the shoulders up to the ears just four or five times here, just lifting them all the way up and then sinking them all the way down, just starting to warm up that area of the body. Another one or two times at your own pace. And then once we've done that, we'll start to bring the shoulders forwards and back just a couple of times again, just moving through different ranges of motion here. And we'll start to take some shoulders going back just two times here and then bringing the hands onto the shoulders another two circles this time moving the elbows forwards and back and then final two circles with the arms extended sweeping them forwards extending as far as you can reaching and then we'll take those same circles forwards, just the shoulders at first, two times. And then two times with the elbows and the hands on the shoulders. And finally extending the arms and sweeping forwards all the way, as big a circle as you can, one more. Let's shake it out just a little bit. And then lift the right arm up, place the palm on the back, and hold on to the elbow with the left hand to encourage a gentle stretch. You can stay up tall here, or maybe think about leaning the upper body over to the left for a little bit more of an intense stretch. You can maybe turn the chin to look to the right and breathe into that right shoulder. Keep both sit bones grounded. And if anything feels like too much today, any of these stretches or exercises, just give yourself permission to back off. Shoulder pain is, is no fun and we're here to feel better, not worse. So let's take eagle arms now. So the right arm will come underneath and then the palms or the back of the hands will come together. You might recognize this from my video for neck tension, which I will link below. And this is one of my favorite stretches for the upper body. You might also choose to curl forwards, releasing the head, doming through the upper back. Or you could also just sit, stay sitting up tall. And let's release and shake that out. And then this time we'll lift up the left arm, bring the palm to the back, and hold on with the right hand for a shoulder and tricep stretch. Again, you can choose to sit up tall here, maybe closing the eyes, or you might think about leaning that upper body over to the right. So this video is the third in a series. I mentioned my neck tension relief video, and there's also a wrist strengthening and pain relief video. So those will be linked in the description box underneath this video. And I'm also planning to create an upper back sequence coming soon. And let's release that. And we will this time bring the left arm underneath the right, either staying up tall here, lifting the elbows or breathing out to release and curl forwards. You might notice that this side feels a little bit different from the first one you I'd also like to thank Patricia Leslie and Eva Garion who commented on two of my previous routines to request a video on shoulder pain or shoulder bursitis. So I really hope this helps. And if any of you have another suggestion, please just leave me a comment below. I'd love to help. Now we can release, wiggle around a little bit, reach the hands up with the palms forward, and then bend the elbows, pulling them into the ribs. And just do that five or six times with the breath going at your own pace here. I will continue to post new videos every Monday, so I hope you'll consider subscribing, joining our community, and 
Good for all of you for showing up today and sticking with me through the whole routine. I know you can do it. Great job. So let's release. We can make our way now to hands and knees and we'll be coming first to a single arm puppy pose. So keeping the hips above the knees, bend the left elbow and place that hand on the left shoulder blade, bringing the forehead towards the mat. And you can prop up on fingertips with the right hand. And we're just gonna hold here for about 20 to 30 seconds. It's gonna be quite an intense stretch. Remember to keep those hips more or less over the knees. Remember to breathe. And we'll release and switch sides. So this time the right elbow bends, the right hand comes to that shoulder blade and you can either prop the left hand up on fingertips or another option is to extend that left arm forwards and just notice if you maybe get a little bit of a different or a better stretch this way. Finding what works for you. Just noticing where you feel the stretch. Beautiful. So let's come back to hands and knees just briefly and we'll find our traditional puppy pose. So this time both arms are going to extend. The forehead comes back towards the mat. The hips are still over the knees. And you can either reach the arms out as far as they go, keeping flat palms on the mat. Or another option is to come up on fingertips, which is a little bit more intense for most people. So again, just noticing what feels best to you, to your body breathing and consciously letting something go whether that is pain or tension it won't be there forever just allow it to let go and now we can come to the belly and we'll bring the right arm out to the side with a bent elbow and turn the body to the left so away from that right arm and bring both knees in front of the body so the right hip and the right ear are on the ground. And you can push into the ground a little bit with the left hand if you'd like. Or you can also place the left hand behind the back to intensify. And this can be a really intense stretch for shoulders and also for the chest or for the biceps. So this is another opportunity to close our eyes here. Come back to our breath, letting it nourish and energize that part of the body again. And we'll release and we'll simply switch sides. So the left arm bends at the elbow with the palm on the floor, 90 degrees. The left ear comes to the mat and we roll over to the side, bending the knees in front of the body to the right. You might have to wiggle around a little bit and that's fine. Again, you can either press that right hand into the ground for support or bring it behind the back. Thinking about sending the breath into that left shoulder. Really nice opening here. Just a few more seconds. And we'll start to release, come back to your front. And this time we're going to slide the right arm on top of the left. So both, both arms in front of the chest here, both hands reaching out to the side with palms down. So wiggle the hands as far apart as you feel you can. The chin can rest on top of the arms. I like to keep my feet apart here just to avoid any strain on the lower back. So this is another intense stretch, this time with the shoulders in protraction, not retraction like we were a moment ago. Our shoulders are a ball and socket joint, meaning that they can move in all sorts of directions. So it's important to stretch them in a variety of ways to keep them mobile and loose. And we'll just come up and switch sides. So this time the left arm comes on top. And again, we crawl those fingers out. We keep the palms down, reaching the hands as far away from one another as they may go today. And just sending that breath into the shoulder blades, into the upper back. Nice work. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. So we can start to release here and we're just going to come up to a kneeling position. So make your, your way there as slowly as you'd like. You can shimmy and shake a little bit and we'll just close out with some snow angels. So reach up with the palms forward and then sweep the hands down towards the hips, keeping the arms straight this time. And just keep going at your own pace, bringing a little energy and circulation to the shoulders to close out. I hope this sequence has helped you with any shoulder pain and mobility issues, especially as you practice it more regularly. Please do subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out for future sequences. You can like this video, share it with your friends. 10 minutes a day, even if that's all you've got, can really make a difference to our bodies and minds. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.